can go into my glossary right here. I can go to other pages and go straight to. In our readers workshop lately, we're switching from fiction into nonfiction. We should all have at least this many choices. And one of the first things we try to understand, in addition to all the nonfiction text features, is the five different text structures that are in play as far as when authors are composing content. So in my end today, we're reading about life cycles across plants and animals. Students are reading texts that are of their independent level. And students are starting to annotate and preview the text, look for those key trends and vocab words, and also establishing a journal where they can start to highlight and use the signal words to start to build a case for which text structure the author is using. You're going to flip through the book, you're going to look at captions, you're going to look at diagrams. With the use of Mayan, we like to combine the digital versus the analog world, using it to enhance everything we're already doing in the classroom. In today's lesson, students were very engaged on the independent piece, but at the same time, wanting to build that community of readers they have to have that opportunity to share out with their classmates and peers. So then if we went back to that page in the book. The other aspect that has been a huge plus is the student dashboard where the students can track their progress. They can easily navigate their minutes and pages read goals. They know they're individually responsible for their own reading growth. So if Mona's thinking her text might be chronological, if we're really trying to have lifelong readers, we simply cannot go by that approach where every student is going to produce and be engaged at the same level at the same time. Mayan really helps empower me as a teacher to provide the framework for students so that when they leave here, they're gonna have those experiences then to build from moving forward.